ॲक्च्युली हे दुसऱ्यांदा अटेंड करतो आहे आणि करोनाच्या काळामध्ये जी एक सिच्युएशन तयार झाली थोडासा वेळ मिळाला गेल्या वर्षी पण मला वाटतं फेस्टिवलचे प्रॉब्लेम्स होतेच तर पुन्हा विद्यार्थी दशामध्ये जाऊन एक वर्डवाईज सिनेमाचा एक्सपिरियन्स घ्यावा करावा कारण मी स्वतः एक फिल्म डिरेक्ट केलेली जी मी आत्ता नाही सांगू शकत तुम्हाला पण मी म्हटलं की जस्ट एक अनुभव घ्यावा आपण पुन्हा एकदा ॲज अन ॲक्टर म्हणून आत्तापर्यंत घेतला आता ॲज अन ॲक्टर डिरेक्टर प्रोड्युसर म्हणून एक्सपिरियन्स बघूया कसा काय तो आणि मला असं वाटतं की जगातल्या कोणत्याही अशा महान मोठ्या फेस्टिवल्समध्येच आपल्याला वर्ड सिनेमाची ताकद म्हणूया त्याच्यातलं आपलं स्थान नेमकं कुठलं आहे आपण नेमकं चाचपडण्याच्या प्रोसेसमध्ये जर असू तर मग आपण नेमकं काय शोधलं पाहिजे आपण आपल्या कल्पना काय आहेत सिनेमाला धरून ज्या गोष्टी तर त्याच्यासाठी मला नेहमी असं वाटतं की आपण किती जरी प्रगल्भित झालो तरी ही आर्ट ही अशी आहे की याला कुठल्या प्रकारचं एज लिमिटेशन नाही आहे आणि दिवसा गणिक आपल्या भोवतालची क्षणाक्षणाला सिच्युएशन जशी बदलत जाते तसा वर्डवाईज सिनेमाही बदलत जातो काळानुरूप तो बदलत गेला आणि ही एकमेव आर्ट अशी आहे की ही क्षणाक्षणाला काय परिवर्तन आणि काय रूप धारण करेल हे नाही आपण सांगू शकत त्यामुळे मला असं वाटतं की ही एक फार छान प्रोसेस आहे अनुभवण्याची शिकण्याची त्या त्या मेकर्सच्या फ्रेमवर्क बाबतीत असेल गोष्ट सांगण्याच्या बाबतीतलं असेल त्यांचा सिनेमाकडे पाहण्याचा दृष्टिकोन असेल आणि त्यांच्या नजरेतली कलाकृती आपल्याला पाहायला मिळते जे असा एक छान फारच गोड असा अनुभव असतो हा सगळ्यांसाठीच सिनेमा पाहणाऱ्यांसाठी म्हणजे प्रेक्षक म्हणून सिनेमा पाहणाऱ्यांसाठी हा जितका तितकाच मेकर्स म्हणून ॲक्टर्स म्हणून डिरेक्टर म्हणून आपल्या सगळ्यांनाच तो एक चांगल्या पद्धतीचा अनुभव येतो आणि मला असं वाटतं तो प्रत्येकाने घ्यावा या क्षेत्राशी कनेक्टेड प्रत्येक माणसाने तो घेतला पाहिजे असं माझं वैयक्तिक मत आहे अजून डिजिटल प्लॅटफॉर्मवर तुमचं गाणं काय मत आहे येस डिजिटल प्लॅटफॉर्मचा फायदा कसा झाला की खूप सकस आणि ताकदवर काम करणाऱ्या मेकर्सला त्याच्यानंतर ॲक्ट्रेसला म्हणजे ह्याच्या म्हणजे या क्षेत्रातल्या प्रत्येक विभागातल्या कलाकारांना डिजिटल प्लॅटफॉर्ममुळे ना एक सकस काम पाहण्याचा पण पण असा अनुभव यायला लागला आणि करण्याची पण संधी मिळाली म्हणजे खूप असे वेगवेगळ्या डिपार्टमेंटचे शैक्षणिक डिग्र्या घेतलेली जे काही कलाकार मंडळी आहे विविध क्षेत्रातले डिरेक्टर असतील ॲक्टर्स असतील आर्ट डिरेक्शन असेल कॉस्ट्युम्स असतील या प्रत्येकाला एक सकस काम करण्याची संधी मला असं वाटतं की ह्या प्लॅटफॉर्ममुळे उपलब्ध झाली असं माझं वैयक्तिक मत आहे कारण खूप सकस काम आपल्या म्हणजे आता या करोनाच्या बाबतीत जर आपण विचार केला तर लक्षात आलं असेल की मोठा पडदा बंद होता पण छोट्या पडद्याच्या रूपानं जे काही सकस आपल्याला बघायला मिळालं त्यामुळे आपलं एक आपण आपल्याला चाच पडण्याची आपल्याला एक संधी मिळाली त्यामुळे हा प्लॅटफॉर्म निश्चितपणे चांगला आहे पण पुन्हा सिनेमा हा जो प्रकार आहे तो पुन्हा मोठ्या कॅनव्हासवरती पाहण्याचंच चित्र आहे आणि कारण का तांत्रिकदृष्ट्या जेवढी सकस डेव्हलपमेंट करून आपण ती कलाकृती बनवतो तिचा अनुभव जर आपण त्या ठिकाणी जाऊन त्या अंगाचा अनुभव जर आपण नाही घेतला तर मग ती मजा नाही हॅलो थँक यू फॉर फॉर द इन्व्हिटेशन हाय रफायला इट्स अ फिल्म फ्रॉम द डोमिनिकन रिपब्लिक our world premiere it's having here it's is happening here in Ifihoa it's directed by Tito Rodriguez I'm the lead actress and it's about a girl that comes from a Caribbean slum um she comes from a broken home her mom is addicted to drugs so she has to work since she's very young she works as a buso which is a person that collects trash in the biggest dumpsters in the Dominican Republic so she tries to sell it to get money to eat and then she grows up from this really violent and difficult place to try to make it out 
um, to try to make it out. She becomes a leader of again, and then things start to become difficult to her. And so it's about story of a girl that's trying to survive from poverty and the streets. In so the is the experience at Ify? Oof, the experience is Ify, it's amazing, it's marvelous. Like people here are so warm, so such a nice hearted, and also are so into cinema. So uh, like we were, we came yesterday at 7.30 p.m. and I saw this big line. I was like, what's going on? What's happening? And I was like, what What film are you watching? And they were like, Rafael, I went, what? Are you kidding me? Is this real? Like a long life of people. Like I couldn't believe it. And people just, when the, the movie was over and we were shaking because it was our first time with like showing the film, people just came with us to talk to us, to congratulate us, and it was, I mean, I was shocked. I was shocked, shocked, because we don't speak the same language. So I thought it was gonna be difficult for, for everybody to understand, but like, they saw everything. And it was so beautiful, and it was so, that, that's an award for us, that's an award, that's a big prize. So thank you so much, we're happy. What is the meaning of Rafaela? Is it a fighter? Rafaela, no, she's not a fighter, but well, she's a fighter in life. Uh, she's a survivor, I think. Uh, she's a survivor. She, she has a certain innocence, even though she comes from a broken home, um, a broken relationship with her mom. She's also trying to find that type of love in life. We're all trying to find love in a certain way. We are all trying to find um, people that loves us and make us feel better and make us live better lives. So I think Rafaela, it's it's dreaming about that, on having a better life. Throughout the film, she's focusing all the time on a, a picture that she has of a, a publicity of a family that has a big house and it's going to to a better place by living in this country, beautiful country with with nature and she's dreaming about getting that and she thinks she's gonna get that in life and she doesn't lose hope with her mom and with the people she loves so i think rafael is the story of a survivor of a woman that is just trying to make it and she's trying to be happy and loved at the end is that do you think uh, india and dia should have a collaboration of the film industry oh my god i wish i wish because we have so much so many things in common like i was sometimes i hear you guys talk and i'm like are they talking spanish like <laughs> yes for real like you talk in a way that we in the dominican republic sometimes talk we were talking about that and and i'm like but we have a lot of things in common. Yes, we do. Uh, haven't you been in the Dominican Republic? Yes, exactly. So I'm like, we can easily create something together. And you guys have an incredible market. Like you have an industry that is impressive. And oh my God, I wish I could collaborate on that and be a part of that. And, and I wish people like could go to the DR and create also. So. That would be just perfect. It would be perfect. Thank you. Thank, thank, you, man. thank, thank you. you. If we come back with a precarch, it's a trouble to Popa Meda. Kai short films with Popa Amka Meda. I am Changada, a short film as a producer as a teen at day, a tencha short film at now. Tencha Kalanya film at film at the Adik Zanunga. Sir, a teen at day came at me to Dabata. Teen at day, a jo film hai. वो बेसिकली लाइफ के एक फिलॉसफी को रिप्रेजेंट करता है कि आ, हर कैलेमिटी के बाद एक रिसर्जेंस है होता है और हर रिसर्जेंस के बाद एक कैलेमिटी होती है हर आ, इसके तीन चैप्टर्स हैं इस फिल्म के तीन चैप्टर्स हैं पहला चैप्टर है विपत्ति विच मींस कैलेमिटी दूसरा चैप्टर है उत्पत्ति विच इज़ रिसर्जेंस और तीसरा चैप्टर है चक्र तो विपत्ति उत्पत्ति विपत्ति उत्पत्ति मिलके चक्र बनता है ये एक एंशेंट इंडियन फिलॉसफी है कि हर दुख के बाद सुख हर जीवन के के बाद मृत्यु और ये साइकिल चलता रहता है हमने हमारी फिल्म से ये मैसेज ये जो एंशेंट इंडियन फिलॉसफी है इसको हाईलाइट करने की कोशिश की है कोरोना के समय में कोरोना में जब लोग इतने परेशान हैं और इतने उनको करोना का जो प्रकोप 
इतना भारी है हमारा फिल्म ये मैसेज देता है कि जैसे चक्र है चक्र के हिसाब से ये भी एक फेज है आज हमें इतना भारी है ज़रूर लग रहा होगा बट ये भी ख़त्म होगा वापस सब चीज़ें स्टेबल हो जाएंगी और स्टेबिलिटी आएगी स्टेबिलिटी के बाद वापस एक बार वापस कुछ ना कुछ अनस्टेबिलिटी आएगी हमारी फिल्म ये साइकिलिक पैटर्न साइकिल साइकिलिक फिलोसफी ऑफ जो लाइफ है वो उसको रिप्रजेंट करती है आपके शॉर्ट फिल्म में कौन कौन से एक्टर हैं ये बड़ा इंटरेस्टिंग सवाल है आ, हमने शूट जो किया है अगर मैं आपको बताऊंगा हमारे फिल्म के एक्टर्स तो आपको थोड़ा आश्चर्य भी लगेगा थोड़ा इंट्रीक भी हो जाएंगे हमारे फिल्म का एक्टर एक छोटा बच्चा एक कौआ और कौए के तीन बच्चे हुआ ये कि हमने कोरोना के दौरान देखा कि जो मेरे डायरेक्टर हैं उनके घर के छत के बाहर एक कौए ने एक घोसले में तीन अंडे दिए और ये तब की बात कर रहा हूँ जब पूरा देश में लॉकडाउन था हम सब लॉकडाउन से परेशान थे तो हमने उस पूरी कहानी को कंसीव किया और शूट किया जो ये था कि कैसे जब पूरी दुनिया हिली हुई है उथल पुथल है कैसे ए, आ, कुछ बच्चे जन्म ले रहे हैं और कैसे वो बच्चे जन्म लेते हैं और फिर कैसे उन बच्चे वो कौआ और ये जो छोटा बच्चा है उनके बीच इंट्रैक्शन होता है और फिर वो बच्चे उन बच्चों में से चार में से तीन उड़ जाते हैं एक मर जाता है वहाँ पर भी जीवन मृत्यु का एक साइकिल है तो अगर कहा जाए तो मेरे फिल्म के हीरो एक बच्चे एक कौआ और तीन कौए के बच्चे हैं इफ़ी जैसे एक प्लेटफॉर्म आपको मिलता है जैसे शॉर्ट फिल्म बनाने के लिए सो इस पर आपके क्या विचार हैं इफ़ी एक बहुत बड़ा प्लेटफॉर्म है एस्पायरिंग फिल्म मेकर्स के लिए और इसके लिए हमें इफ़ी का गवर्नमेंट ऑफ इंडिया का बहुत बहुत धन्यवाद देना चाहिए कि वो लोग जो एक अलग किस्म की बात कहना चाहते हैं जो एक अलग किस्म की कहानियां कहना चाहते हैं जिनका मेन स्ट्रीम रिप्रेजेंटेशन मिलने का उतना स्कोप नहीं है उनके लिए इफ़ी एक गॉड सेंड प्लेटफॉर्म है और अभी जैसे इस साल इफ़ी में ब्रिक की भी फिल्में आई हैं मैं ये आशा करता हूँ कि गवर्नमेंट इसी तरीके से और इंक्लूसिव बनाएगी इस फेस्टिवल को ताकि ज़्यादा से ज़्यादा लोग और हम जैसे लोग जो अलग किस्म की कुछ मैसेज वाली फिल्म कहना चाहते हैं वो कह पाएँ कितने दिन लगे इस फिल्म को बनाने के लिए इस फिल्म की शूटिंग जो चार महीने लगे जो कोरोना का पहला लॉकडाउन था उस पीरे पूरे पीरियड में हमने शूट किया था जो करीबन चार महीने साढ़े चार महीने का समय था और पर पोस्ट प्रोडक्शन और ये सब होते होते करीबन सवा साल लग गए इस फिल्म को करने में अब ये आपकी फिल्म शॉर्ट फिल्म आ गई है सो आपका कोई विचार है कि और मेन स्ट्रीम मेन स्ट्रीम फिल्मों में भी आपका आपकी कोई इच्छा है आने के लिए देखिए मैं खुद ही मेन स्ट्रीम से हूँ मैं पेशे से एडिटर हूँ अभी ओ माई गॉड टू जो फिल्म है वो एडिट कर रहा हूँ जो इस फिल्म के डायरेक्टर हैं सुभाष साहू वो मेन स्ट्रीम के साउंड डिज़ाइनर हैं 130 फिल्मों का उन्होंने साउंड डिज़ाइन किया है कमी ने ओमकार के लिए नेशनल अवार्ड मिला है उनको सो ऐसा नहीं कि हमारा मेन स्ट्रीम से कनेक्शन नहीं है वी आर कनेक्टेड टू मेन स्ट्रीम हम एक इसके अलावा इस फिल्म के बाद इस फिल्म के बाद एक और फिल्म हम प्लान कर रहे हैं जिसका नाम है सेबा बहू वो फिल्म बेसिकली उड़ीसा के इंटीरियर्स में एक महिला है जो आज भी ब्राइड तैयार कराती है मतलब सत्रह अठारह साल की लड़कियां जिनकी शादी होने वाली है उनको एक दो साल ट्रेनिंग देती है कि एक अच्छी ब्राइड कैसे बनते हैं क्या रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटीज़ होती है और बहुत इंटीरियर का ये है ये अब ख़त्म हो रहा है ये कल्चर अब ख़त्म हो रहा है ये बहुत ट्रेडिशनल कल्चर है तो नेक्स्ट एक फिल्म हम जो ऑलरेडी शूटिंग चालू हो गई जो अगेन सुभाष साहू जो इस फिल्म तीन अध्याय के डायरेक्टर हैं वो उसको डायरेक्ट कर रहे हैं ये कहानी हम प्रॉब्ली एक फीचर लेंथ की एक डॉक्यूमेंट्री या नरेटिव फिल्म होगी है So the film is based on a real incident where a woman came up to New Delhi railway station in early 1970s, and she wanted to meet the Prime Minister Indira Gandhi. She said, "I want my property from Awadh, that was annexed by the British, back now, uh, because now it is with the Indian government." So this is a real incident, but my film is a poetic take on. It's a fictional poetic take on this incident, how a woman lands up and just uh, says that. Uh, uh, I'm here and I am a queen. Uh, she does not have any papers. She has nothing to prove that she's a queen. But then, what happens afterwards? So, so uh, the, your film is um, yeah, from from the two true events from uh, 1970s. So, how difficult was it to create a station in the other scenes? 
Um, uh, we, we did it intelligently. It was very difficult, first of all, to even find a station which did not have uh, digital signage. Uh, or, uh, I mean, no one can have a mobile phone. E uh, even like on the periphery, if someone is passing by and a person has a mobile phone, it would be a problem. Uh, even the kind of cars that can be seen, even in the sound design, the kind of horn that can be heard has to be different. Matlab, uh, outside New Delhi Railway Station, we have created the ambience of Ghoda Tanga. They say, Bara Tuti Sadar Bazaar, Bara Tuti Sadar Bazaar, which does not happen now. So, e I would not say it was difficult. I would say it was very interesting to create that time. This was your uh, directorial debut film. Yes. So, how was the experience? Oh, <laughs> I have realized that uh, <laughs> it's a lot of hard work, uh, but worth it. Being here is worth it. Yes, it it uh, it takes a lot of. You have to be very. I mean, you have to keep your vision straight. Uh, also, I mean, being a director means telling other people how to do things, managing people. So, yeah, it it, it is interesting. <laughs> How has been your experience at E350? I, I'm loving every moment of it. Uh, I love films, so being surrounded by people who are as passionate about films as I am, it is wonderful. And I get to wear good clothes. <laughs> Thank you, ma'am. Welcome to this presser and also welcome our online viewers. So here we have uh, the team from two films. Uh, one is the Assamese a non fiction film Virangana. It was screened in Indian Panorama. Uh, we have with us the director of uh, Virangana, Kishore Kulita, and also the screenplay writer, uh, Mr. Utpal Datta. And the other team uh, we have is uh, from Spell of Purple. It's a short fiction, which is non feature. And uh, we have uh, the director, Prachi uh, Bajania, and the director of photography, Rajesh, on stage. So we'll start with Virangana first. Uh, so this is directed by Kishore Kulita, as I said. Kishore Kulita, he, actually, he is a practicing advocate in Guwahati High Court. And this is his debut film. And uh, the film, uh, it was screened in the Indian Panorama non-feature section, as I told you. Uh, it actually uh, features the Assam Police's uh, first female commando force, Virangana. It was actually the first in the country, and it was launched in 2012. And uh, Virangana also had some previous screenings, and it was declared the best documentary in the Cochin International short film um, uh, festival and it won the uh, in the short film award there also in 2021. And uh, the screenplay writer of this movie, Virangana Utpal Datta, he is a veteran. He is also a filmmaker. He won two of his films are already screened in IFI in 2013 and 2018. And he has written over 30 books. And today also, towards the end, uh, we will have a new. Uh, book uh, being presented uh, here and uh, shall I tell about the movie a bit about the movie uh, as I told Virangana is the first commando female commando force in Assam and these Viranganas they are trained in silent arms drill commando training motorcycle riding martial arts etc and the film is actually made uh, through a th uh, interviews with core individuals and through them, they, it shows the force's role in effectively dealing with the crime against women in Guwahati, India. And that shows you know, his, the relationship between the director, who is also an advocate, and uh, how the crime is being dealt in the country. And it also captures how these constable women take on Eve teasers and harassers and make Guwahati a safer place one day at a time. And, uh, First, we will um, go with the first film, and later on, we will go with the second film. Okay, if you have any questions, before that, I would like um, the director to give his opening remarks of whatever you want to tell about the film, uh, your experiences with it, what motivated you for such a film? Yes. Good morning, friend. Uh, my film, Biongona, is selected for Indian Panorama. I'm very happy to be here 
actually i choose this subject because bironga ana are discharging their duties in guwahati um to protect women from ipticing um since long back i was planning to do something uh in fond memory of my late father and as a student of school of drama uh, i had completed one course in film making from imi after that i decided to do something and to make a film in fond memory of my late father and in 2016 i came to know about biyongona even uh, since then i even didn't know about the role and play of biyongona i even, uh, i see them in and around guwahati area they are discharge their duty but while i study the uh, topic i came to know that biyongona group is india's first female commander unit who she was uh, for the first time introduced in assam police in 2012 i officially contact uh, assam police department and present dgp of assam mr bhaskar jyoti mohan to ifs uh, he helped me a lot he furnished some uh, info information about bironganas and i express my views with mr utpal dotto who is skin play writer of this film he encouraged me a lot he just told me just proceed and go ahead i even did not know personally the, the result of outcome of the film i will be here one day uh, and i'll be here in goa today i even did not know i just uh, did my level best and result is today or uh, you have seen and i think that um, biyongna groups were um, um, <coughs> included in assam police just to protect women this is very unique concept from ipticing and i found a, um, a new thing in bironga group that yes women can protect women and this is the big thing and this i want to give message to my film that women are not left behind to men yes women can protect women and we are really proud of bironga that's all uh, so at uh, fti uh, after uh three years of uh, study actually two and a half years uh we have to make a diploma film a graduation film yeah um uh, and it's it's really up to us you know what you decide to do so while i was in the process of uh, figuring out what story i want to tell uh i heard a i heard something about uh darkan which is the gujarati word for which and Uh, I started reading more about it, and I came across uh, a radio, uh, a, a small radio program where there was a woman, a, a journalist based in America, who had come to do a story on a group of women in uh, Gujarat, and uh, these these were women who were accused of being witches by uh, by people in their villages, and. Uh, Although she spoke about them, uh, I mean her approach was. Uh, uh, I mean she was largely coming from the, uh, from the idea of doing a story about them. So I I didn't find out very much about who these women were, why they were accused of being witches, but what motivated me to actually go there and uh, see it for myself was was a little song that I heard in the in the radio program. It was. it was barely 15 seconds and but that voice stayed with me because it was a group of women singing and i could i mean you know maybe like from far away so i went to uh, palanpur or devgarh baria that is the area uh, and i went there to look for that song and uh, luckily i came across a group of uh, women uh, at a at a center which was uh, they were called the 
आदिवासी कलाकार टुकड़ी सो सो दीज वेमेन वुड टेक फोक सॉन्ग्स एंड मोस्टली दे वर वेडिंग सॉन्ग्स एंड दे वुड infuse them with lyrics of their own so these tunes were very catchy and everybody knew them but the words were their own and uh, through these words they were telling their stories and i f- i found that very interesting because while it was an act of resistance it was also done within the scope of their own culture and i also thought it was very smart because unless you really heard the words you wouldn't know that this is a song of protest or this is you know it's it's they're expressing dissent to, through this uh, sort of performance and i asked them about the song and uh, they were very surprised they said this is our song we've written it so i asked them to perform and uh, the next day t- and uh, they performed in their uh, office they have a small ngo there so i shot it there but uh, and i taken a small camera and they told me that uh, why don't you come there's a the whole area is full of mahua trees and there's a, a big mahua forest there so they said we'll take you to the mahua forest and uh, we'll perform over there so i thought it was you know i, w- I was very excited i of course didn't know whether i could use the footage in the film because we have to come back and write a screenplay and then shoot uh, around pune but it was all this you know it was very very rich experience and once i came back and my team is here uh, uh, so i spoke to them and then gradually we started uh, uh, working on the film and yeah we shot the film in a village called ambi dumala uh, in ahmednagar and i wanted to uh, set the story in gujarat but i couldn't shoot there so uh, we found ahmednagar is uh, i mean geographically uh, similar to gujarat it's dry so uh, and also i wanted a bajra field because i wanted my character to be uh, to be the owner of uh, a small field and uh, yeah so i found that there and then we went and we shot there